Today, Google gave us the best look yet at the anti-iPad, the all-new Android tablet software called Honeycomb. Just like on an Android phone, the home screen is where Google builds an experience that looks and feels different than on an iPad or iPhone. Instead of having an array of icons, the Honeycomb screen shows a lot of dynamic content, widgets that can be arranged in stacks or grids that you can finger through before even opening any apps. Even switching from app to app is better since the Honeycomb app switcher lets you look before you leap. Notifications are also improved, as is Android's beloved system tray, which got a facelift and now lives at the bottom of the screen where it makes more sense. Apps on Honeycomb are going to be a lot bigger than their phone counterparts, and Google's leading the way with an oversized and impressive Gmail, a big, beautiful music player, and a camera app that has enough space for all kinds of photographic tweaking. To show that they were serious about getting developers on board, Google invited CNN, Disney Interactive, and South Peak Games to the stage to demo their new apps. To help run apps, there's also a lot more power under the hood. Since tablets are bigger and need to do more, Google built in better support for 3D graphics and animations and new hardware. The question is, will all of this take a bite out of the Apple? There's a lot that remains to be seen, but given Android's meteoric rise in the phone industry, and given how serious Google seems to be about taking on the iPad, I can only say that it's going to be one beautiful fight. For MSNBC.com, I'm Wilson Rothman.